Samsung's upcoming non-foldable flagship, the Galaxy S26 Ultra, is expected to launch with the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2, delivering a noticeable boost in performance over the Galaxy S25 Ultra's Snapdragon 8 Elite. But that's not the only performance upgrade, this improvement will also come from faster RAM. According to Ice Universe on X, the Galaxy S26 Ultra will feature LPDDR5X RAM with a 10.7GB per second data transfer speed. In comparison, the Galaxy S25 Ultra uses LPDDR5X rated at 8.5GB per second, making the new RAM around 25% faster. This speed boost should translate into benefits like shorter loading times and smoother graphics rendering. Back in April 2024, Samsung introduced LPDDR5X RAM with the same 10.7GB per second speed, and it's likely the company will use its own chip in the Galaxy S26 Ultra. Currently, no other manufacturer produces faster RAM chips for mobile devices. We've now accessed the first official firmware for the Galaxy S26 Ultra. Identified by version number S948USQU0AYG8, the build information confirms it is running on Android 16 with One UI 8.5. This marks the first formal mention of One UI 8.5, confirming its existence. Ice Universe recently shared a quick summary of what's coming. The phone is becoming even thinner, shrinking from 8.2mm to somewhere in the 7mm range. It'll be slightly taller and wider, yet lighter overall. The display remains 6.9 inches, but now uses co-depolarizer technology, making it brighter and more power efficient. Combined with enhanced anti-reflective glass, outdoor visibility should be noticeably better. Camera improvements are also in the pipeline. The main HP2 sensor is getting a wider aperture. The 5X telephoto lens is being upgraded, and the 3X telephoto now offers 12 megapixels with an improved sensor. All of this should result in better low-light shots and crisper zoom images. Under the hood, the S26 Ultra will be powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 Elite for Galaxy, now clocked at 4.74 GHz. Samsung is testing an Exynos 2600 variant, but realistically, it's unlikely to make the cut and it almost certainly won't appear in the Ultra. Battery capacity remains at 5000 mAh, now paired with 60 watt fast charging support. It will launch with One UI 8.5, which appears to be a significant upgrade over the version seen on the Fold 7. Things just got a lot more interesting. Samsung has officially added the Galaxy S26 Pro to the S26 lineup. Initially, it looked like Samsung was only dropping the Plus variant, leaving us with the base, edge, and ultra models. But that's not the case. Samsung has overhauled the lineup entirely. Not only is the Plus model gone, but the base model is being cut as well. In its place, we're getting a Galaxy S26 Pro. So, the new lineup is S26 Pro, S26 Edge, and S26 Ultra. Now, you might be thinking, Pro usually means upgraded specs, right? Does that mean the S26 Pro offers better performance than the base model it replaces? Honestly, no one knows for sure just yet. That part remains unclear. Samsung might simply be rebranding without making actual hardware changes. If that's the case, it could be disappointing. But hopefully, that's not what they're doing. Of course, if the Pro name brings hardware improvements, prices will likely increase. It's highly unlikely Samsung will price it the same as the old base model. The Samsung Galaxy S26 Ultra is expected to be slightly larger than the S25 Ultra. While earlier leaks hinted at this minor size increase, we now have an image that better illustrates the subtle difference between the two models. The Galaxy S25 Ultra features a 6.86-inch display, while the S26 Ultra could expand that slightly to 6.89 inches. Though the increase is minimal, it may not significantly alter the device's overall footprint thanks to Samsung's updated display assembly technology. Tipster Ice Universe shared a comparison image on Weibo that highlights the potential size change. The side-by-side -side view reveals a slight increase in height, with a marginally wider design also mentioned by the source. The added height is noticeable in the comparison, but the increased width becomes clear only when a different colored outline of the S25 Ultra is placed over the S26 Ultra. Currently, the Galaxy S25 Ultra measures 162.8mm in height and 77.6mm in width. While the exact dimensions of the S26 Ultra haven't been confirmed, the visual leak suggests a modest increase in both height and width. Although the screen size is getting a small boost, this may not noticeably affect the overall body. We may soon get our first glimpse at Samsung's upcoming flagship phones through renders expected in the next few months. These images will likely be based on reliable leaks, but a fan-made concept has already gained traction among Samsung enthusiasts. Many are now hoping the Galaxy S26 Ultra adopts this look. A Reddit user, who slash BJAL, 
shared a conceptual image of the Galaxy S26 Ultra best described as a fan-made design render. It preserves Samsung's signature design language while introducing a refreshed camera layout that draws inspiration from the Galaxy Fold 7 and S25 Edge. The concept blends elements of the S25 Edge and Fold 7, particularly in the camera module. The creator placed an island around three vertically aligned camera sensors, leaving the remaining two sensors and the LED flash flush with the body, without protrusions. Reactions to the design are mixed. Some users appreciate the refreshed style, while others argue it strays from Samsung's traditional design principles. Still, many agree the idea is appealing, and not entirely outside the realm of what Samsung could eventually adopt. Regardless of Samsung's decision, this fan-made concept shows how striking the Galaxy S26 Ultra could look. Over recent years, Samsung has integrated design elements from its Galaxy Z Fold lineup into the Galaxy S series. The Galaxy Z Fold 6, for example, introduced prominent camera rings, a detail that carried over to the Galaxy S25 models earlier this year. Interestingly, the latest Fold device has moved away from those pronounced rings, reverting to a cleaner style reminiscent of the Fold 5. If that trend continues, the Galaxy S26 series could also abandon the large camera rings in favor of sleeker metallic ones with a sharper, more refined appearance. With emerging details about the Galaxy S26 Ultra following the notable AI and camera advancements in the Galaxy S25 Ultra, this upcoming model continues to redefine what a premium Android phone can be. It not only sets a new bar in hardware performance, but also signals Samsung Samsung's clear commitment to entering the era of AI-powered smartphones. The Galaxy S26 Ultra carries forward Samsung's recent minimalist and unified design philosophy, while refining key elements. It features a strengthened armor aluminum 2.0 frame that's both lightweight and durable, paired with Corning's Gorilla Glass Armor Plus for enhanced protection against drops and scratches. The body has smoother contours and a more compact appearance, aligning with the current preference, for slim and lightweight flagship devices. According to Kasim, the phone measures around 8.5 millimeters in thickness and weighs approximately 220 grams. Thanks to an ergonomic build, it offers a secure and comfortable grip, making one-handed use over extended periods more manageable. Samsung's displays have always been a strong selling point, and the Galaxy S26 Ultra is no exception. It sports a 6.9-inch QHD Plus AMOLED panel with sharp 3200x1440 resolution. This results in crisp, detailed visuals where text and images remain smooth even when zoomed in. The display's peak brightness is expected to hit 3000 nits, a notable boost from its predecessor, ensuring excellent visibility even in bright daylight. The screen offers more accurate color representation, is HER 10 Plus certified, and delivers an immersive viewing experience. The rear camera module may see a bold redesign. The Galaxy S26 Ultra could adopt a full-width camera bar that stretches across the entire back, similar in style to what's expected from the iPhone 17 Pro models. This approach isn't just a visual departure, it also helps balance the weight of the camera system, minimizing wobble caused by lens protrusion when the phone is placed on a surface. Thank you so much for joining me in this video. If you enjoyed what you saw, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video. Peace out.